Warning, the outcome of this video will result in you drawing closest to Allah and improving your religion. Viewer discretion is advised. So I started feeling so low about myself. Come on, SK, why are you even doing it? Da 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 da, why you need all these? No one's even watching your videos. This, it led up to a lot of anger in my heart. I was angry about that. Like, yo, come on, come on. And this is what happens to a lot of YouTubers. They're overwhelmed, they're overworked. They've overworked themselves, right? It is a job, it really is. That if I'm really doing this for the sake of Allah, does the views matter? And the answer is no, it doesn't. But it still made me angry on the inside. What? About what? Because I think that I'm the best and people should watch me? Sure, there's nothing wrong with being the best. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. YouTube gave me depression. Actually, today we're gonna to be talking about reverse engineering depression, understanding where depression stems from. Like SQ, salam alaikum, bro. And like SQ, what are you doing over here? I'm in my classroom. You had to set this up. This thing was a hot mess. I'm supposed to keep a mask on all day, guys. Can you believe that, bro? A mask on all day. I told, I was speaking to Phil downstairs. I was just like, Phil, I don't think he heard me because my mask was on. But I was just like, yo, Phil, I struggled keeping my mask on yesterday. I feel like I had to confess to him like a priest or something, you know? It's hard. Man. It's hard. I'm just keeping it honest. Yeah, same, yeah, same. I have my groceries delivered to my house. Yeah? I don't even go out of the house. Oh, no way. So. This is, by the way, this is Mr. Habib. This is my room partner, by the way. We share a room. This is my classroom. I'll show you right now. You've never seen my classroom, have you? So we, this was a hot mess yesterday. All this was a pure bread hot mess. But the main man right there, you see him, Habibster. Um, we combined our powers. He combined his OCD-ness plus his artistic ability and view. And he fixed this room up. Take a look. Take a look, take a look. Take a look. All right. I'm going to take you around. Let's go on a tour before we reverse engineer depression. Before we reverse engineer depression, let's take him on a tour. Who's in here? Empty. Empty. No one's in here. Look at this hot mess. Look at this. This is what the school looks like. This is crazy. We rebuild it, guys. We, we, we really build these things. All right, no one's in here either. It's like they're hiding from me. All right, if not, I'll just take it. These guys are always in here. These guys are always in here. Some of my favorite people right here. Yo, guys, you back there? Oh, it's just Matt. Oh, we have to move our time cards? Mm -hmm. Do we? All right, I'm going to go to the main office. All right, guys, so before we talk about reverse engineering depression, let's take you on a little tour. My classroom, once again. I thought they were going to be in there, but I'm not supposed to. Also, I'm button in my button because my dead is out. Because my dead is out. This guy's here. This guy's legend. Legend. This is a legend right there. Main legend right there. That used to be my old room partner, by the way. When I was in sixth grade, he used to be my old room partner. Did I just like ask you, you're walking around with a camera? I am. That man right there, it's a good man. Marlo, what's up? Hi. I thought you weren't, you know, you couldn't hear me because you got these, no, these things in your ears. Off. Yeah? Wow, look at that, man. Yeah, it is, right? You like it? It's hot and uh, impractical. It just looks cool, but it's totally impractical. <laughs> I would, you know, the best ones, in my opinion, are the blue ones, the one that looks just surgical. Those are my favorite ones and best ones. Really? Yeah, man. They're breathable. They're more breathable. I just don't like those disposable ones. I don't want to look like a doctor. Uh, not that I do, but no. Yeah. I, I think that's the number one reason people want to be a doctor because they want to look like one. They want the white coat. Yeah. That's the, what do you think? Do you think that's the right intention? What? To want the white coat? Yeah. I know that medical schools use the white coat intentionally. I think wow. the story I read about it once. Yeah? Yeah, like they, at the end of medical school, they confer the white coat. Wow. It's this talisman that doesn't really have a place anymore. Wow. Yeah. This guy, keeping doing? us both. I'm good, brother. I'm good. I was making my YouTube video, and I was just like, you know what? Let me give the people a tour of my school so they could see what I do. You know what I mean? Or what we do. Look at this. Look at this. Man, you need some help with this? Uh, I mean, if, you, if you're not doing another one, yeah. When we yes. Talk, for the yes, I'll be here. Inshallah, I'll be there. Be there. Come on, man. 
Marla, he's an OG. I'm, I'm giving him the tour. You're on the vlog now, Marla, but they can't see you because you got a mask on, so it's cool. He's like, I'm not even listening to you anymore. All right, back to my room. Let's reverse engineer depression. All right, this is my workspace. What do you think? It's going to be clean or dirty? Clean or dirty? Messy, sloppy? You'd be right. It is sloppy-esque. Got some stuff here. All my glasses, obviously, over there. And my wax machine, I know. It's weird. My yesterday's coffee, which I am going to drink today. Got a face shield. That's going to be nice. Okay. Put this down. Let's reverse engineer depression. How YouTube gave me depression. Let's talk about that. How YouTube gave me depression. Let's talk. Pretty sure I'm supposed to keep my mask on the entire time. I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll try my best. If I start getting hot, you know it gets hot with this, bro. The beard makes your face hot, bro. Well, like it makes your face so hot. Look at this, and it's giving me an extra wave in my beard. Yeah. Ah, oh, um, makes sense. Yeah, but I'm not shaving this, Habib. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Can't shave that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is going to be a crazy school year, y'all. Crazy school year. Yeah. Why not, bro? Why not? Brother, I'm excited. Let's get this year started. All right. Reverse engineer depression. YouTube gave me depression. You see, a long time ago when I used to post my videos, I used to worry and concern myself about the views. I used to think about how many views the video didn't get, how many video views it deserved. I had to speak to my wife, I had to speak to myself, I had to counsel myself. That if I'm really doing this for the sake of Allah, does the views matter? And the answer is no, it doesn't. But it still made me angry on the inside. What, about what? Because I think that I'm the best and people should watch me? Sure, there's nothing wrong with being the best. But that's the wrong reason for me to hold resentment or be angry. The reason I was angry is because I put in work, effort, hours, planning time, preparation time, sacrifice from the family. And that was wrong with me to even think about that. Because the time that I spent on YouTube, Instagram, and all this sort of stuff is not a sacrifice for my family. It's not. It's a part of the mission. It's not a sacrifice. It's a mission. Sacrifice feels like I'm giving something and losing something at the same time. I'm not losing anything. Loss doesn't exist. This is getting deep, huh? I'm in a classroom spitting knowledge. <laughs> Loss doesn't exist, guys. So, with that being said, I'm upset. Why am I not getting there? And by the way, in regards to my family, I'm doing what I love with who I love. Simple as that. And may Allah protect our marriage, protect me, protect our imans, everything. I mean. It's deep, you know? You think about these things and you say these honesties and these truths about yourself and you realize that, man, like, I've, and this is why I love, I love YouTube now, way more than Instagram for some reason, because I feel like I can genuinely like release myself, if that makes sense, you know? Like, I can just release my thoughts a little bit more. But anyways, me not getting the views or my effort being uh, uh, recompensated, so to speak, right? Not with money, but like with a view, right? It led up to a lot of anger in my heart. I was angry about that. Like, yo, come on, come on. And this is what happens to a lot of YouTubers. They're overwhelmed, they're overworked, they've overworked themselves, right? It is a job. It really is. They get angry. 
And it and your anger could turn into two forms. Okay, so one this way, one this way. One form that anger, suppressed anger, unreleased anger, can turn into is resentment, or it could turn into depression. Resentment, you keep thinking about it, you keep hating it, or the suppressed anger inside of you about that has made you feel so low about yourself leads to depression. So I started feeling so low about myself. Come on, SQ, why are you even doing it? Da 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 da, why you need all these? No one's even watching your videos. This shaitan's helping me too, creating more anger in me. And the reason I was angry is because I was hurt. I was hurt that no one's watching my videos. I was hurt the fact that you know, no one's really uh, you know, paying attention while I'm doing all these great videos. That's what, at least what I felt. I felt hurt. Why? Because I felt a sense of loss. I felt a sense, I've in, I interpreted no views or less views or less comments or less whatever as a sense of loss. Instead of me understanding that, look, me being here and me ending up where I want to end up, there's going to be a huge dip in between. And the ones who are successfully climbing out of the dip into their success point are the ones who will be successful. Everything in our life has a dip. I was reading this book actually called The Dip. It's really good. I don't know who the author is. Seth Gooden, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I could be wrong. But such a good book. You should check it out. Unless you're like, oh, cute. I only read Islamic books. Uh, the books are haram. I don't know. Some people think like that. Some Muslims believe that we need to go back to uh, Muslim land and leave the kuffar world. What? Yo, you're getting a Muslim in the classroom. You're getting a Muslim in the classroom. You're not, bro, you know how powerful that is, right? The fact that we're Muslims teaching inside of a New York City uh, classroom, you know, our values are going to come out. You feel me? Like, this is a powerful, like, platform. You know what I mean? You have dedicated viewers and listeners every single day to you. They want me to leave the kuffar land. Are you stupid? God. And people will support any idea that they have with the Quran, with the Hadith, just to support their idea that we should leave a kuffar land. Did you ever think that every land was a kuffar land until Muslim got there. These Muslim lands that you want to go back to were not always Muslim lands. Saudi Arabia wasn't a Muslim land. Islam made it Muslim. Islam brought civilization over there. These lands that we go to that are Muslim lands that you want us to go back to. Pakistan. Pakistan wasn't a Muslim country. There were other people living on that land once upon a time. I could be wrong. But I've, I've been to those places. From Pakistan, they have a place called like Texla. You ever heard of that place, Texla? Bro, I think you would love it there. They have a bunch of old artifacts and things like that over there. Texla. In Pakistan somewhere, bro, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Say, say that again? I'm interested in knowing who was living on that land before they got there. Because there's someone usually, right? Like there's some native to that land. Yeah. Who's the native to that land? I wonder. Do we, do we have to get on a Zoom call right now? 8.45? Wow, watch this guy. So this is my process right now. I'm going to take my laptop. This is my work laptop. Keep this here. Oh my God, I have to do this training, bro. Apparently. Apparently. Let's see if we do it or not. Okay, so this is my email box. PD. PD. Zoom meetings. Click this link. That's another legend. That's another, look, look at that legend right there. Mm. That blue and the chocolate goes well together, brother. Yeah. You know it. That's too funny. That's too funny. This guy, that's. That guy's a legend. Anyways. Mark, come here for a second, Mark. I think they need your expertise. Oh, I thought, like, well, they, they face the wall. They don't face that. They should face... So where, 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 that's what I'm saying. They, yeah, so they're not going to sit there. They're not going to sit there. So why do they have to face this way? I don't know. I don't know. Where do they have to breathe on themselves? Listen, just want to say you're an awesome dude. Yeah, man. I think you're awesome dude. How are the kids? Kids are good. Getting bigger. Yeah. Did you do anything over the summer, or did you just, like... We just worked out with the kids a lot. Yeah? We went to um, hiking. Nice. We did a place called Stairway for Heaven in Jersey. Okay. And... Stay, stairway for Heaven? Stairway for Heaven. That sounds like something religious. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Is it from like a church or something? It's a song also. Stairway to Heaven. No, 
Yeah, I'm loving so, your, your, your case protector watch yeah, strap. This nice. is the end result. Swipe to your left. Like this? No. Oh, yeah, this way. Yeah. Ooh. So that's the path you take. And the markers on the tree is the only directional that you get. Blue or white line on the tree. You, so you got to figure it out yourself? You got to look for those white markers. Wow. Wow. So wait, hold on one second, one second, one second. What's that? How long does it take you to get up there? It took over two hours. Over two hours? Yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah, I climbed a mountain coming once. Back. Two hours back. I climbed a mountain uh, once. It was called uh, Ben Nevis in Scotland. Oh, this is lovely, man. Uh, but a beautiful family. Beautiful family, bro. So who, who's everyone over here in your pictures? This is my daughter. Okay. And her, and her Where's your son? This girl, Ingo. This little girl right here. He didn't go. Nah, this one is all someone's room. Stop. <laughs> time out. Time out. Time out. How'd you know he was beating? <laughs> How did, so you know that for sure. You know what's so funny? That's what, how old is he? Thirteen? No, fifteen. Fifteen? Oh damn. Beat Just chilling at home. Yep. Hardcore. She bite nineteen miles. Whoa. She's Hardcore. Hardcore. I'm supposed to have my mask on. I could get in trouble. <laughs> I probably just, I don't think he even noticed. I just put my mask on. <laughs> you know, sometimes, I don't know how you feel about this. But sometimes I feel invisible to our own. Invisible. That's okay. Allah sees us. It's cool. Join the computer audio. Good morning. Hi, Mr. Rabbi. Thank you. Thumbs up if you can hear me. There we go. She just acknowledged you. That's so sweet of her. So, See? Good morning. Happy day two of okay, it's pretty loud. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to end this video, okay? It's been quite long. You're like, SQ, you, drop, you released an hour, 47 minute video? Yes, I did. I did do that. I did do that. I'm sorry in case someone from the school district sees me in a classroom and I get in trouble. Not for recording, but not wearing a mask. I'm sorry about that. It's that I'm getting my my mouth it just hurts my face hurts from this mask i'm sorry to say that um but we feel a sense of loss right and we, it's it's how we make meaning of that loss because nothing's ever truly lost but it's how we make meaning of something um is what determines how we feel and so on so i think there's more to this right uh, i do want to talk to you more about that but only if you guys would enjoy to hear more about it whether you enjoy it or not i'm still going to tell you with all honesty but um yeah let me get back to this meeting over here too i love you all for the sake of allah and um yeah, that's how YouTube gave me depression, so to speak. Does that make sense? Like, I felt a sense of loss from these things. Now, just to let you know how I am, I've healed from that so much. And I've realized that I just want to do whatever I want to do on YouTube and not worry about the views, but just focus on showing my personality and, and just like showing you my world that I live in, right? So that you can truly, truly develop a better empathy and connection with me than just some dude sitting in front of a camera. I'm, I'm introducing to you my colleagues, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel you as a family. So anyways, I'm gonna get back to this over here. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Uh, that's why I'm loving YouTube right now. And that's why I'm cheating on Instagram. That's what I feel like I'm doing. I feel like YouTube is like my third wife. Second wife is like Instagram and I'm cheating on her. Anyways, <laughs> love you all for the sake of Allah. Um, check out some of my other videos, I guess, if you want to. If you don't want to, that's cool too. Um, and that's about it. Till next time. Assalamualaikum. I'm out. That was a weird intro, outro, wasn't it? <laughs>